I need to get a new song for you. In the meantime, if you want to remember him, all you got to do is play the song. Corporate and government projections like have been or, an additional when you want to remember how to do easy to spot flaw. They do not attach a possible error rate to their scenarios. Even in the absence of black swans, their omission would be a mistake. I want to give a talk to policy wants at the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington, D.C. Challenge them to be aware of our weakness in seeing ahead. The attendees were tame and silent. What I was telling them was against everything they believed and stood for. I'd gotten carried away with my aggressive message, but they looked thoughtful compared to the testosterone-charged characters one encounters in business. I felt guilty for my aggressive stance. Few asked questions. The person who organized the talk and invited me must have been pulling a joke on his colleagues. I was like an aggressive atheist making his case in front of a sign out of cardinals while dispensing with the usual formulaic euphemisms. Yet some members of the audience were sympathetic to the message. One honest person, he is employed by a government agency, he explained to me privately after the talk that in January 2004, his department was forecasting the price of oil for 25 years later at $27 a barrel, slightly higher than what it was at the time. Since months later, around June 2004, after oil doubling price, they had to revise the estimate to 54 the price of oil is currently, as I'm writing these lines, close to 79 and now down on them that it was ludicrous to forecast a second time, given their forecast was so off so early and so markedly that this business of forecasting had to be somehow in question. And they were looking 25 years ahead. Nor did it hit them that there was something called an error rate to take into account. Forecasting without incorporating an error rate uncovers three fallacies, all arising from the same misconception about the nature of uncertainty. The first fallacy, variability matters. The first error, lies in taking projections too seriously without heeding its accuracy. Yet, for planning purposes, the accuracy in your forecast matters far more than the forecast itself. I'll explain it as follows. Don't cross a river if it is four feet deep on average. You would take a different set of clothes on your trip to some remote state if I told you that the temperature is expected to 70 degrees Fahrenheit with an expected wear air rate of 40 degrees than if I told you that my margin of error was only five degrees. The policy we need to make decisions on should depend far more on range and possible outcomes than on the expected final number. I've seen working for a bank how people project cash flows for companies without wrapping them in the thinnest layer of uncertainty. Go to the stock market and check on what method they use to forecast sales 10 years later to calibrate their valuation models. Go find out how analysts forecast deficit, government deficits. Go to a bank and security analysts train for them and see how they teach.